Hey, what's up? Action figure collector, model collectors, all around, in between, gift giver, toy lovers. Welcome back to Caspian Shows here, and we are back, and we are getting more into Shadow High, and this is from Series 2. They just started popping up in my Walmart, ironically enough. I was so happy, because I've been really anticipating them, so we um, have clicked here. I've had her for a few days, but just trying to come around so I can get some time to do her unboxing video. I'm really waiting on Rex because he's my favorite and that's the one that I'm waiting for the most. And I would definitely probably end up doing a couple duplicates. Other than Rex, I really don't see myself doing any other diff duplicates from this line. But then again, who knows, right? You know, oh no, Um, I think I will, I, I'll take that back because I'll probably do a duplicate of Dia. Just because I want to do customs um, with her head sculpt for a boy. To me, her head sculpts is not really doing anything. And I appreciate the dolls for what they is. But as you all may know, I'd like to get a lot of my dolls for customs. And um, she's a girl doll that does not have a smile. So I definitely want to transmute that. Nothing there's. I'm not saying that there's not wrong with a girl that doesn't like to wear a smile or doesn't wear a smile. But I think it, it, it trans, uh, transfers easier to when you're doing customs on a boy doll with rainbow high face sculpts when they don't have a smell. I think it gives a little bit of uh, variety, you know, because most of the guy characters, they, they do put like smells on their faces. But I seen in a group that I follow, one of the doll groups, a customizer, pointed that out that she, um, it's, it's, it makes a big difference if you grab, it's a, a few other dolls with head sculpts that don't have smiles, and if you grab them, they, uh, transmute very, very well into customization on boy bodies. So, with that being said, let's get into Miss Raina Glitch Crown. Now, I fell in love with this girl when I seen her on the show. I've been watching the show right here, and I, my guess is this, this line right here is the runway line. They all seem to be fashion designer inspired, and you know, I go to school for stuff like that so it's like they got the um the emblem right here and then i was seeing on the packaging like when they when a lot of people get the leaks a lot of the lines they call them other things so shadow high series two was called like shadow high runway line that's why it doesn't say series two here because we have the runway symbol instead the runway doesn't have i mean the series one doesn't is not the runway line because they don't have these symbols so technically it is series two but i see why the two is not up here because it's a different line you see what i'm saying it's still shadow high though but um yeah this is her little identification and there's just like the little hazards or whatnot you know the doll comes with one uh top a dress a pair of shoes a pair of earrings one small palette, one mic with a stand, a cell phone, a cell phone case, two hangers, one comb, and one doll stand. Well, yeah, I guess if you consider her dress with the sequins on the bottom, like the sequin train at the top. I mean, well, the dress is, yeah, consider that a dress, but the top is going to be considered like her one piece. That's underneath. So... I mean, it's cute, you know, right? Like, they don't mention... Well, they do. They say that it comes with a pair of shoes, and that's totally not true in this case. But maybe I might have to dissect the shoes myself. Maybe there's something down in here that's going to come out of here that's going to be like a little magical shoe at the bottom or something that is giving us that I'm missing. But from all the videos I'm seeing, everybody is saying that the shoe is attached to the one piece. Maybe I can Velcro on the bag. I don't think I'm going to do too much dissecting in it because I really love it and I think it's cute. So I don't know. I, just, I do want to see like what type of fabric or material that is there at the bottom to give that scope of the shoe, though. I would definitely love to know that. And yeah, let your true color shine. Now we're going to go ahead and get ran out the box. I love this illustration that they're doing on these boxes. I'm just living for it. I will definitely be saving that cut out. I'm talking about the clear plastic at all because I heard if you put the LED to them, it gives a crazy effect. So I'm going to want to try that. I got some cool, crazy LEDs 
and I think it'll be cool for decoration and like the ones in the back like they got all this illustration art going on like y'all I'm just Shadow High is like really really popping right now and it's like really popping for me now especially since they took away the Pacific Coast line no I was in I was loving the Pacific Coast and I was hoping that I was going to do more with that but Hey, I'm not mad. You know, I was loving the swappable legs and the, um, you know, the smaller petite bodies. But these bodies are smaller, but it's like, it's it's still cool. You know what I mean? I'm not mad at all with Shadow High. But um, I do want Rainbow High to give us a lot more for what they're doing. Like, kind of kind of just seeing the same thing. I want to see like more, more custom, um, I mean, you know, more characters and like different, different looks with the characters and stuff like that like they're just i feel like rainbow high in general is getting a little repetitive shadow high can keep coming out and branching out with like new ideas and stuff but until rainbow high gets to that point where they want to do more i feel like it's just going to be like that but yeah i love this statement it's a god by that i live by fashion does not follow fashion does not doesn't have to follow the rules and neither does shadow high watch out rainbow high so, yeah, I mean, like, they are going hard up in here. We're coming for the runway, and that's what it says. Like, yeah, Shadow High. So, this is definitely the runway line. If they're giving it like that, you know what I mean? Glitch is obviously, like, all into that. And these dolls, they all look very, very much high designer runway inspired. All of these looks are very, very much given runway. And absolutely, I'm here for it. I am. So, let's go ahead and get her out of the box. Okay, and here's just like a better look at her artwork. If you all <clears throat> didn't couldn't like really see it as clear there with the uh you know with the bots and all that stuff coming on, like this this illustration silhouette, like girl, I'm not mad that they didn't give us the little color down at the bottom because this right here is serving and honestly, if they started doing this a little bit more often, I wouldn't be mad. Now I still don't get me wrong, I still love the color illu the the color, full color artwork illustration or um you know kind of just like the regular artwork but these illustrations go hard like i love that shit for real y'all now i do really appreciate how they're giving us easy access to the doll with these boxes you cut it and just slide right open being a doll line that has quality like rainbow high and shadow high i think we deserve it like nobody wants to be ripping and tearing these boxes and ripping and cutting and, and pulling and doing all that like damn y'all y'all give these boxes out and the dog come with all this fucking shit in the hair and you got to fucking like cut shit out the hair cut shit off the hat you cutting shit off the doll hats that you done paid good hard on money for like this is fucked up y'all need to do better for a high quality line like damn now, some of the average bases I can kind of see, but, like, they got to do better. Well, they need to do better. I, I really don't think they got to do shit because they don't care, but they need to do better. But anyway, um, here is her Shadow High hangers, the stand, the black stand she comes. So, these are different uh, complexion hangers, as Miss uh, Jester said yesterday on her video when I was watching. She did a... Uh, her review on glitch and uh, like the stands i love it's like a dark color like with the glitter we don't we haven't seen that love how they got this board here just kind of like a, a closer look at all her accessories like she really is like serving like i'm i'm not mad at all the, her color i don't know you know and I, i'm thinking that she's like a really really matted um kind of like a grayish mattish purpley color like a mattish pastel purpley type of color i don't know if y'all figure it out let me know but she 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 seems to be like a really really um muted type of color of gray she's not just like a regular gray color y'all um her eyes are really pretty they got like a, a purple outline and like the you know pretty much purple with like sharp sharp um vibrant blue streaks along that's kind of giving it like this really really cool uh glare look there i just i love her eyes um the lips are cool it's like a really cool um almost like a glossy dark grayish type of um 
almost like a dark grayish lavendery type of color it's really pretty her hair is dark and it has like these deep deep um midnight streaks in them which are just really very cool it's like midnight bluish and it's almost got like some kind of midnight purpley vibe to it where it's kind of shiny i'm just i'm ready to get her out y'all i can't take it guys kudos to all of you who was able to manage to save this box without destroying it but me i had a hard time after all of that cutting and ripping i am exhausted here she is like i really want to get this base out of the package but i really don't want to destroy this package like i love it because it's so matte when it was like all shiny with the glitchy colors and stuff like that it was cool but too much of it was starting to give me a headache like i had a lot of that wrapping and i, I really wasn't getting any ideas but this runway stuff this is cute it's like it's matte and it's the cardboard it's so smooth listen to that like asmr like oh my gosh and like I just this is hard to get out on this side like the the paper I mean the tape is like so stuck to the back of it where it's just it is really annoying me and driving me crazy trying to get that out of there like oh my gosh I've already took the back parts of the base out but now I got to like I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my time and try to get like an exacto knife and cut this little part out right here so I can get the rest of the flaps out of the box without destroying the artwork yeah other than that everything is beautiful like i absolutely wanted to slay her on her stand for this video but at the same time like that's gonna be a lot to get that base out of there so let's get to it let's start with her earrings they are very very versace inspired have a look see in the middle there's an emblem that is very very re resembling of something that you would see like in a high editorial versace runway or like high editorial versace magazine but i'm mark my word y'all these will definitely be painted now they're good for what they get for now but i don't know how long i can tolerate it i love how her hair is like actually split like that but it comes together to make it look like a full ponytail like i just think it works so well with her train it doesn't give like the wrong distraction with the things that's going on i heard a lot of people say they would have loved like a necklace with this i think it would have been cool for an accessory but you all gotta think like they're putting the line together a necklace would have made this outfit look very 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 distracting unless because it already has like really big bright statement earrings and it's already a lot going on so maybe like a solid necklace yeah i could understand like some cute uh some cute clips or something at least like how she has in the show yeah i get it but i don't know something about these lines they're gonna be like i, I don't know they just be a little too extra i feel like i need to go and apply and get my shit up so i can work at some of these um these styling uh, departments of these um for these doll lines because this is like it's crazy i'm seeing they coming out like i don't know some of these dolls just be looking fucking tacky i'm gonna be honest but some of them be cute you know what i mean but i mean like my thing is i, I just want it to look appealing some of the stuff just don't match in a way where it's just mm. i mean i guess it's okay if you like it but a lot of people really don't even like it you know what i mean so it's all about that marketing folks anyway i'm not i don't want to distract too far off topic of this video but um yeah let's go over here to her dress which is very cute it's cut off mid length and then she's got like these big puffy sleeves which are super cute she's got floral design patterns going down and they are kind of like a uh shimmer fluorescent in black you know what i mean um and it's just on the front the train comes all the way down to the back. It has like shadow written a word with a sequin with like silver, like fluorescent and black looking. Uh, yeah, like that, you know, her glitchy style got like a lot of, col a lot of colors and stuff popping off of it on the sequins. And I just, I think that is so her. I love this look, but I think with the pieces all separated, it's going to serve some fire and it's going to look so much better with the dolls as far as customization i don't quite know what i'm gonna do with glitch yet but um she probably will not stay that color 
and um i absolutely love her head scope i think this is one of the most beautiful faces that shadow high and rainbow high have done so um as far as the look of her character i have no idea you know after uh display purposes after i just i feel like she's a little overplayed out and everything after i decide to take her paint off and everything i'm just gonna have to let it naturally flow and you know just kind of come together you know what I mean? Who knows? Maybe I might look make her look like one of these artwork illustrations or something. But um, yeah, I'm a, uh, I want to get these pieces separated for sure though, so we can kind of go over that. We seen her her um hangers earlier. Here's her microphone. So I kind of just slid everything off the rubber band right here. Everything attaches, but this is stuck together through the tape. Um, this middle piece does not adjust but it's it's a good quality it's really firm and it's it's bendy way better than what the competitors are giving you it has a peg so this part is actually removable like a lot of the high quality stands that uh they're giving us from mga and it has a spikes at the bottom and i wonder if these stands are like compatible with each other like i wonder if you can use like some of these stands on the other bases or the omg bases i'll do a video like that later on when i'm uh, comparing like stands and um just trying to see if you can like mix and match with stuff like that i'll do that in an upcoming video and let's go ahead and separate this Okay, y'all, no, this is definitely a look like she is giving it and I am loving it. Like, I'm, I stand correct to what I stand. This is actually two pieces. There's a top, you see, it's a crop top, long sleeve. The fabric is amazing. Uh, you see a Velcro from the back. That was probably her hand that just came off. Oh, no, that was the stand that fell down. Okay, so the leggings here, they are attached, but she absolutely does come with shoes now. These are shoes, but it's all about if the collector is willing to remove this fabric. And I'm sure this, this is a pump. It's just a solid, um, really tight pump, closed pump. It uh, This part stops about right here where that blue line is. Maybe around that second blue line is where the heel stops. So it's going to cover the toe, but it's, it's really tight and it's going to come up about right here. But the fabric is definitely over and kind of stitched on there. So if you're really, really good with um, cutting fabric, you could probably wing that out of there where you could make this very versatile. You see what I'm saying? Probably just cut that fabric along the seam where you could get it removed from the heel. And that way you could still be able to slide the leggings on and maybe even insert these leggings into some other doll shoes like actually putting the legging inside of a doll shoe because it's it's a really really tight fabric and uh if you cut it well and then probably stitch it back together maybe like some slight glue depending on however you work a craft i think it could be pulled together and you will get more versatility there you go two outfits well yeah two one dress and two different pieces and some shoes i think that could be two different outfit because your your pump is black and it could, it would go very well with this this i think would be cute with some solid all black pumps you know what i mean and that will leave you a lot more room for accessorizing this type of um extra as a gar garment you know what i mean so yeah y'all i am here for glitch she served that she threw it and i caught it and i'm loving it y'all so y'all let me know what you're thinking here's a, a closer look at like how her comb and her stand look I, I love that color like that that glitzy type of dark color like that oh my gosh y'all she is, she's serving. She's one of my favorites that I've seen from Rainbow High and Shadow High. She has potential. Like, people have been saying, like, I really didn't see the potential until I got her out the box. When I seen her in the box, I was like, yeah, she does. But now that I've, I've taken her down and, and broke her all the way down and read her, she is here to stay and she is ready to slay, honey. So, y'all let me know what you think. Hit that like and subscribe button if you have it. And I will see you all in the next one. Comments below. Peace out. Try to love something. Try to love someone, y'all.